This is the woman that President Donald Trump called bad news on the now infamous July 25 phone call with his Ukrainian counterpart, Vladimir Zelensky. Until May, she was the top U.S. diplomat in Kiev. Trump abruptly recalled her to Washington after Zelensky was elected. She said she was shocked that she was criticized on the call. It, it, was, it was a terrible moment. Uh, a person who saw me actually reading the transcript said that the color drained from my face. I think I even had a physical reaction. Yovanovitch is a highly respected 30-year veteran of the Foreign Service and a key witness for House Democrats leading the impeachment investigation. She said she lost her post after Trump's personal lawyer waged a smear campaign against her, deeming her an obstacle to Trump's personal interest in Ukraine. That interest was in an investigation launched by Ukraine that would embarrass Trump's top Democratic rival. Individuals who apparently felt stymied by our, our efforts to promote stated U.S. policy against corruption, that is, to do our mission, were able to successfully conduct a campaign of disinformation against a sitting ambassador using unofficial back channels. In a remarkable move, the president tweeted an attack on Yovanovitch while she was still testifying. He said everywhere Marie Yovanovitch went turned bad and that it is a U.S. president's absolute right to appoint ambassadors. One of those Trump appointees is this man, U.S. ambassador to the European Union, Gordon Sondland. He has no political experience, but he donated a million dollars toward Trump's inauguration. Yovanovitch said she reached out to him for advice because he was close to the president. He said that uh, the best thing to do would be to, um, you know, send out a tweet, praise the president, that sort of thing. Republicans at the hearing sought to undermine her relevance to the investigation. Did you ever talk to President Trump in 2019? No, I have not. Mick Mulvaney. No, I have not. Thank you, Ambassador. Uh, I'm not exactly sure uh, what the ambassador is doing here today. House Democrats have now called on three witnesses to appear for two days of dramatic televised testimony this week. But that's just the beginning. There are at least six more witnesses slated to testify next week. And one of them, Gordon Sondland, who may prove to be a turning point in this impeachment inquiry. Yasmin Al-Sabawi, TRT World, Washington.